And I want to say we need not really to partner with others, but we need to raise an altar for this nation. How many love Kenya? How many love the country called Kenya? Now put your hand up. I'll tell you something. Sometimes we say it for the sake of saying, but I want you to speak it before God that you love this country. Put your hands down. Number two, this is not a question. I want you to understand that Kenya, like any other nation, is in battles of different nature. And I've realized something that um, altars are also used to raise any nation or any organization. I've learned even something like some of the Indians and Asians or maybe these uh, people from the East. The moment you see the gods they worship, it is fixed in a corner in their shop. It's because they know the power of the altar. I've heard even others when they are building their structures, their big buildings for business, they mix the concrete for the foundation with the coins, a sign that they know they want money and they put it there and it becomes like an altar. I want you to know that we have a responsibility because we know the altar that we salute. And for Kenya at the moment, when you see something here, look at verse 7 of Jeremiah 29. And seek the peace of the city where I have caused you to be carried away captive and pray to the Lord for it. For in its peace, you will have peace. Mark that word, that when you look at the children of Israel, they were taken captive. And you remember, this is a time in the book of Jeremiah, somebody like the secretary of Jeremiah by the name Baruch had even written and told them and circulated the message that, don't worry, we are getting out of this place very soon. So don't bother so much. But God came and told Jeremiah, can you rebuke them? Let them know they are going nowhere. Yes, they are in captivity. But before the end comes, the time I have purposed for them to be there, they are going nowhere. I'm the one who caused them to be here. Can I tell Kenyans, God of Israel made you born in this country. That's where you are here. You may tell me you go to other countries, but you still come back. Even if you go and reside in the state or reside elsewhere, I want to tell you, you think about home. So this is the place, okay, where God wants us to be before we go to heaven. And I want you to know this, there is a need to seek peace. The prayer we are offering today is the prayer of peace for this country. Why? Because if we are staying in this nation and we seek peace, when there is peace in the Lord, then we shall also benefit from the same peace. Listen to me. I don't want to remind you about 2007, 2008, but we cannot close our eyes to that reality. I want you to know Kenya now is in the battle between altars. Are you with me? Between altars. And the best altar we can raise, it is the altar of God of Israel. And we claim peace from the Prince of Peace to flow in this country. From the west to the east, from the north to the south. When we plant peace through prayers, we shall harvest a peace. Even in the hardest time, we shall harvest peace. I repeat, you seek the peace of the Lord where God has caused you to be. 
so that in that peace you shall have a peace now you see it was timely that it was suggested to have the three days of prayer and you know what happened last Sunday we were even concerned because Keno we have some friends there but the moment you see bloodshed through the issues and programs of the leaders it is an indicator that there are altars demanding blood because there is there must be a sacrifice on altars and our altar we are going to sacrifice our movement to seek peace we need to test to, to send peace to every office to the highest office because when we raise this altar it shall now destroy other altars mark the word peace when jesus came after resurrection he found the disciples closed indoors for fear of the jews but when he entered he never greeted them with courage love or any other virtue jesus when he entered said peace there is power that is packaged together with the command of peace did you know people are committing suicide because they have no inner peace they have no strength because there is no peace people are missing one another because somebody is toiling in peacelessness before even you come to hope let me tell you there is need for peace and I'm going, to, I'm going to ask you to stand on your feet. I want us to say a prayer and speak peace to the nation. It is not just in the national anthem that peace be within our borders. We are going to claim this peace. Last night, I had the struggle because there are times you get a burden. And I thought something. And you are going to prove me right. Kenyans, we are looking at the leadership and we are seeing. By the way, it is the rotation around uh, three people. Let me call them names. Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta, the president. Deputy President Ruto and Raira Amoro Odinga. Around those three people. If you look at all Kenyans, if they are saying anything, it's around those three people. Can I tell you for a fact, right now, none of them has true peace. They have no peace. You may think, okay, as they move, as they do all this, but there is no peace. And I want you to pray, sending peace to them. This is important. We are not doing uh, a technical thing here. I want you to carry that burden. And I want that God, as we pray, God will fill them with the peace, inner peace. There is a lot of suspicion. There is a lot of worry. There is a lot of fear. There is a lot of condemnation thrown unto them. And we are the people as the church to stand and believe God. We raise them in peace. This is our country. And as a church, we take charge and speak. Last but not the least, speak peace to 2022 and even beyond. Can I tell the church? For some period, there has been a fight against the church. Even leaders blocking themselves. No need to go to church. No taking money to church. All those kind of things. Do you know what that means? Church, you must raise leadership. Because some few years to come, if we don't have somebody in friendship in the kingdom of God, do you remember the days of Israelites in Egypt? 
when Joseph was dead, long gone, the Bible says, and there came a king who did not know Joseph. And so they suffered. The chosen race, the church of Jesus Christ, must be defeated because we have a responsibility in this country. I want us to believe God, to raise an altar that will speak peace to the nation and is going to raise power to fight any other altar. We are not going to allow blood of innocent people to be shed. We want to say the blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel was shed for this nation. Can you say a prayer? Take two, three minutes. Let's see. Just pray the way the Spirit leads you. But remember we are speaking peace. We declare peace for this nation. In the name of Jesus. We are speaking peace to the leaders. We are speaking peace to every leader. Every governor. We are speaking peace to the land of Kenya. We are saying the peace from the Prince of Peace. Oh God Almighty. A release, release peace, release peace, release peace, oh God. Yes, to the Lord of Kenya, mighty God, we declare the goodness of the Lord, the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, to reign in this land, my Redeemer, my God, Jehovah Almighty. Let there be peace, inner and outer peace, in the minds and the lives of the living. Lead us, my God, we pray. Let there be peace in the land. Oh, God, rekandalable, makatarabolobo, shandalobo. My God, we announce the peace of God that surpasses our understanding. Oh, God, we announce peace, mighty God. Let there be peace in politics in this country. Let there be peace in the land. Father, we invite you. We call on you Jehovah, my Redeemer. Rain, rain. Yes, we believe, we believe, we believe. There shall be peace in state house. There shall be peace in their residences. There shall be peace in their movement. There shall be peace, oh God. Father, we announce the peace that comes from the Prince of Peace, my my God, let the peace flow in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we cover our president. We cover our deputy president. We cover right our digger. We cover them, Lord. And we declare the power of God and the power of the peace and that comes from above. Oh, God shall bring a victory God to the land of Kenya. Shall bring harmony, unity in the land of Kenya. Father, we pray that every disease and made at these high offices. My God, Master, there shall be peace. Lord, we bless the nation. We bless Kenya. We bless Kenya. My God, we speak peace to Kenya. Yes, every county within all the 47 counties within all the over 290 sub counties dear lord we are speaking peace oh god every word we are speaking peace my god we speak peace yes to every corner of this land in the name of jesus we are planting peace lord as a church you've called us peacemakers you say that we are peacemakers lord we declare peace is made a peace is made in the leadership of this nation who oh, is among people of high authority my god i give you glory and i worship you father we bless you king of glory we thank you lord we bless you jehovah we magnify you king of kings blessed be your name thank you father we worship you and we honor you we give you all the glory 
we thank you, Jesus. I want you to lift up your hands. And as you do that, the Bible says that when the righteous king comes to power, the nation goes rejoicing. I want you to know Jesus Christ is the king of righteousness. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the Prince of Peace. I want you to lift him above this nation. Let's say may he arise over this nation, Kenya. May Jesus, even where he is not invited, even where he is not identified, we declare Jesus shall rise, yes, above every corner of this nation. Oh, the King of Righteousness, we declare let every gate open. Let every gate open for the King of Righteousness to enter the land of Kenya in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, we enthrone you. We lift you above. We exalt you. And we honor you. Thank you, thank you, Father. We appreciate you. And we give you glory. I want you to give a mighty heart clap as you celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus over the nation of Kenya. Kenya for Jesus. Kenya for Jesus. I want, I want to hear a better amen. Kenya for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah.